In order to create this transformation, we knew that we were going to be mixing prosthetic makeup and then uh, taking that design and applying it into our world and making it digital. We knew what our end result was, so there was no R&D with regards to what Lash is going to look like, because we know what Lash is going to look like. But what was really important to me and what I impressed upon the producers and, and they agreed was I wanted to make sure that, that his essence would be felt through the process of the transformation. And that, because, at, because the end result of Lash does not resemble anything of Andrew. So from there, we did several passes of 3D scanning of the actors. So once we got the scans done, then it goes into the motion capture. Took me back to those classroom scenarios where you have nothing in the room but a, literally a black box and your imagination. It's like acting 101, and that's what it is. You know, you, you know, throw out different scenarios. So basically, when you when you motion capture an actor, you know, you're tracking a person's motions, limbs in 3D space. So it just wasn't the body performance, but it was the facial. Because again, I wanted to make sure that all of that, which is Blair's performance, was represented throughout the visual effects transformation process. I didn't even know what that evolution was going to look like. I didn't know if it was a, a smooth kind of morphing transformation or if it was a, a painful, uh, uh, very rigid transformation, which is what we ultimately ended up doing, um, which I love in the fact that it's, it's, it's a painful stretching of the spinal cord and the bones and the ripping of the muscles. And it's, it's, uh, it's painful. So even in, the, again, during the motion capture, there's a scene where Lash trans, transforms back to Andrew and talked to the producers about it. And he said, well, what, what do you think that would look like? And my thought was because it's so physically exhausting because I had been doing it all day over for a couple hours, just, you know, just saying my neck was tense, my muscles were tense. St I was still kind of tense. <laughs> um, but just going into Lash was exhausting. And I thought, well, maybe coming back, is, it's the same thing. And of course, the more you do it, it's just like anything else, it gets, it gets easier. But in the beginning, I, I felt it would be very uh, painful and tiring. Clearly on this show, and most Marvel products, you know, we're trying to, you know, raise the bar. We're trying to, to do things that that are at a cinematic level that you don't normally see. This type of transformation, this type of process that we've implemented, is something that I am really confident in saying has never been done on broadcast television ever. So that is, in, in essence, the the uh, the process.